Welcome back students. Today is day four of the Your Voice is Power learning experience. We will continue to investigate how music, computer science, and entrepreneurship are pathways to, to promote racial equity, and you'll continue to gain skills to help you code your final song for the competition. Today you will get to meet a few more activists and allies and see how everyone can play a part in the movement toward racial equity. You'll also get a chance to examine the different parts of a song. Whether it's a song or a movement, every part or person has its purpose. To warm up today, read through Pharrell's third verse. For each set of lines, write if this line describes a builder, something that helps, or barrier, something that hurts, for black entrepreneurship. Explain why you think that. Then answer the questions that follow. Now before we move on, let's see what Dr. Wilson would say about these lyrics. Tomorrow you will get to code and create your song to promote equity. No matter who you are or where you come from, you can participate in the fight to promote equity in our world. There are a variety of ways to act, advocate, and be an activist for racial justice. You can fight for racial justice in a variety of ways. Today we'll explore a variety of computer scientists in particular who are using their work in computer science as a platform or means of tackling racial justice. Some of the people you meet today are activists and some are allies. Let's learn what both of these are before we meet today's featured entrepreneurs. So in your assignment document, you'll see these terms. If you go to, we're right here on um, slide three, part two, build your toolkit. So who is a person who recognizes their privilege based on race, class, gender, etc., and is committed to work in unity with oppressed groups in the fight for social justice? That is an ally. Who is a person who uses their voice and power to promote specific political and or social changes in policies and practices? That is an activist. Now we are going to get to meet a few different allies and activists who use computer science to promote equity. We'll, we'll split into different groups. Well, you'll get to pick your activists like we did earlier with entrepreneurs. And then you're going to be studying the computer scientists you, you've selected, noting two important facts to know about their lives and work and presenting your findings back to the entire class. So you're going to once again get to pick which group, either it's an activist or an ally, that you um, want to choose, up to two people for each one, and then look at the questions you're going to answer. Why are they an entrepreneur? How do they fight for social justice? How do they use computer science to make a positive social impact? And what may motivate him or them to do so based on what you've read or listened to? So we're going to go to our discussion slides where we all have editing access and these names are all there and I know you don't know them you're not supposed to know them you're going to just click on just select one and you're going to get to know them by reading their profile like we did before then on your answer document we're going to go to the next slide which is slide four part three and you'll you'll read the profile and then you'll fill out these answers then when you get a chance hopefully you will you can come over here and write a short summary, um, just something that stood out to you. You don't have to answer all four questions. We don't have room for that, but just something interesting about the group that you selected. So remember, up to two people can do each name. You, once you put your initials there, you've claimed it. And you, the profiles are right here. They're an active link. So if I clicked Matt Wisdom, I would see his profile here. I can open it up. I can just look at it small or I can click to make it large. So I can read about him, answer the questions. See, that's short. It's not a very long profile. That's great. Read about him, answer the questions, and then write a little something in the summary. And that's what we're going to work on right now. <laughs> 